Right, I've got another battle here against Charizardian from Maryland, and this was actually a pretty darn good match, I'd have to say. And um, this is a slightly older team to the last one I used, I actually used it in a few matches before, but I think this was probably the best performance I got from the whole team, um, as a whole out of the matches. The other matches were kind of a bit over quite quickly, so I thought this one was quite good, so I was actually pretty close towards the end. So they lead with the Wish Run Shakot thing, which I can't even say the name of. I have a little panic, I go for Fake Out just to break the Sash, if any, and get some damage. I knew I might have Taunt, but I didn't know if I would expect me to do some kind of random move. But they do, they taunt me and get the Stun Spore off, which paralyzes me, which is pretty bad. And start Energy Ball and getting a few Dizzy Punches off. The taunt wears off, I was thinking I could maybe Encore, but I would rather just go for the Dizzy Punches and get rid of this guy, because a lot of my Pokemon... Um, I'm thinking probably everything apart from Heracles has something that they can be taunted for. Here Yam is not as bad since it only has Whirlwind, which I'm not always going to be that bad about being taunted for, but still. So they bring in the Water Rock thing, I think it is. It might be Grand. I'm pretty sure it's Rock, though. Not 100% sure, but I'm yeah, I think it's one of the puzzle guys. Well, it must be rock or whatever. So yeah, anyway, I'll bring in Loveless 2 on Earthquake, and I'm going to go for the Toxic here. They predict that, I'm presuming, and they go into the Bug Poison thing, which um, obviously is immune to it because it's part Poison. And sorry for not even remembering or knowing how to say half these Pokemon's names. Um, because I'm just bad at that and still trying to get used to what most of the Pokemon are called. So, um, I know I could live any attack it does, so I go to here, yeah, it goes through Star Sense, I'm going to Whirlwind it out and get rid of it and Whirlwind out to this guy. So I'm going to switch out to um, Tropius here to try and get a free sub up if it stays in, but actually switches out knowing it probably can't do too much to here, Yama and we'll get the double switch, but I'll switch back out because I don't want Tropius to be hit by Stun Spore and be paralyzed, which would really suck, but that should go for the Taunt and yeah, and Chandelure comes in, and it says I got Shadow Tag, so I cannot switch out. I have to stay in, and I'm, the only attack I have is Dizzy Punch, but then my taunt wears off, and they switch out Fear and something. I'm not sure what. I could have switched a Rude, but it only would have given it a Flame Orb, and it already had this choice Scarf, so yeah, I'll get rid of its Scarf, I guess, which is what they probably didn't want, I guess. Um, but still, um, Play Marv wouldn't have done anything yet, and eventually get ready when she caught. And I switched open it out because having it there, I can maybe use the fake out later on, or I could just use it as a death flutter later on. So I know he might bring in the chandelier, obviously, fear in a grass attack from a grass Pokemon against something that's four times weak. So I just set up a sub um, to see what comes in. This guy comes in, I'm thinking, right, go for the leech seed, and it misses, which sucks. And I was hoping maybe to level flame for get a leech seed off and protect, but I'm not able to do that despite the fact that I have a lot of HP and special defense and um, EV investment. So I go here to Yama now and because I have like fi fire tags aren't going to be doing too much to me. I go for the earthquake which sadly isn't enough to KO it. I've got a bit too much bulk in this guy and not enough attack. Such as a chandelier, obviously the earthquake won't hit the swana because it's part of flying and I don't really have any attack to attack it with so I'm just going to switch out, and I'm also fearing something like an air slash, but it's just a brave bird instead. And that isn't really going to be doing too much to love this too, and it doesn't take too much recoil from it either. So yeah, it's pretty good. I decided to just to go for the wish here because I know it's probably going to switch out to the Pandora thing here, so it'd be a waste of time going for toxic. And I know waterfall won't do too much to it, so I could just wish and heal up while I switch in. I go to Heracles because I'm pretty sure I could take any attack it does, and if it goes for the Swords Dance, fair enough, it's a free switch anyway. I go for Stone Edge, hoping it's going to hit and hoping it'll KO, and it is enough to KO. And just so you know, this is a Choice Scarf Heracross. Um, so this guy comes back in, and I'm not going to do too much of Stone Edge, even with plus one, unless I get a crit. So I'm just going to switch out to my Love Disc 2 to take the attack, because I'm pretty sure I could wall this in quite well with my love disc too. I'm going to go for the toxic now knowing that none of his team can resist it or are immune to it actually. I mean, apart from I did not actually know this moon dream and that's not its name, but I can't remember what it's called, could actually have synchronized because I don't really know anything about it. So that was a really good play on their part because now my guy's poisoned. I don't have anything like a aromatherapy or heal well on my team. So I can't heal myself. I don't I think I could learn fresh, but I don't have anything like that either. So yeah, I'm sick as poisoned. 
So I'm just going to wish and um, just so I could heal a bit more HP up and I'm going to go for the waterfalls just to get in damage and I get a crit there which probably did matter because um, it allows, um, obviously it's going to take more damage and it's going to die sooner and because of the point when it actually dies, it dies at the exact same time as me meaning both of us have to decide something random to switch in. If I didn't get the crit, I would have died before it before it, meaning I had to bring in a revenge killer and then they know would know what they would want to bring in to revenge my revenge killer. Um if that makes any sense. Um so yeah that crit was quite lucky. Too bad I didn't wish a bit more. I wasn't expecting the sword power. I was expecting come mind, come mind, psychic or something like that and my mic kind of just flew away there. Well, not flew away. So I say here, and um, she could have stayed in with the Chandelier and killed me, as we are both Scarf, but she actually outspeeds me, so it probably would have killed, um, or almost killed. I go for Stone Edge, just in case the Swana comes in. I'm not sure if it's shown, I've got Earthquake on her, I guess, but I just went for Stone Edge anyway, just to get some damage on it. I go low on it here as Death Fodder, but that should go for the Rain Dance. Then I go for a Fake Out, just to prolong the Rain's long lastingness. I know Fake Out wouldn't really do much because it would heal the damage up with leftovers from the pretty sure it's part rock. So here's B He Yen, or whatever it's called, and I've never used this before, first match me using it and I just absolutely love it now. And um, I'm able to take the Aquajet pretty well even when it rain. I go for the psychic and KO that thing in pretty much one hit taking away most of his HP. It was had a little bit of damage but got a one hit KO and I love the surf from here as well. And the rain, I know this one has not got the most special attack and seeing it had Brave Bird earlier it's probably mixed, a mixed set or something. But still loving that with 14 HP was brilliant. And, but I take myself down to life orb sadly and you can see here it outspeeds but because the rain, up, rain is up now Heracross will not faint to it and I'll get the earthquake off finish it off and end the match. So yeah, um, that is the end of the match. It was a good game there. Um, thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.